Was that a horrible nightmare? Where did this hunk of iron come from? What is this thing? It sounds more like someone's joking around. <sighs> or maybe aliens. I wouldn't be surprised. But let's not worry about it. We're on vacation. <laughs> I guess. We've been out here for quite a while. What do you think? Should we head back in? I suppose we could go. The problem is we don't have enough fish for everyone's dinner yet. It's okay. I'll just eat salad and potatoes. I don't think we should keep them waiting. They get crabby when they're hungry. Tornado? Something came out of the sky and fell on our camp. Let's go. <laughs> Are you two okay? Yeah. Did you see what it was? We didn't get a clear view. Can you sense anything? Not yet. Well, we'd better check it out. Now. This is ridiculous. Can't we have a normal vacation like everyone else? Next time, let's go to Hawaii. What's this? Some kind of ship? Uh, I'm picking up on something. There are people over there. What? In the corner, over there. I wonder why they don't say anything. Well, maybe they're afraid of us. No, that's not it. In fact, little by little, they've been communicating with me telepathically. Huh? The girl's name is Lilo, the boy is called Mel, and the baby's name is Falulu. Hmm. So that's why they don't talk. How very fascinating. We'll need some information if we're going to deal with them. Zero, zero, 001, ask where they came from and why they're here. Mm-hmm. They've answered me. They say they're escaping from their own world. Escaping from what? From invaders who want to enslave them. They came here in a transportation device. That must be the object we... Because they'd be endangering their lives. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. If these advanced beings use their powers to kill another living thing, the energy they put out gets turned back on them, destroying their own life force. If they kill another being, they kill themselves. Unbelievable. They come from a peaceful place where violence is virtually unknown. Hmm. The mosquitoes here in Brazil are as big as dragonflies. Are we almost there? 30 degrees, 19 minutes south. We should be there any minute. I just wish Professor Gilmore's instructions weren't so vague. What are we supposed to be looking for, exactly? He talked about... No! Oh! There goes my profile! Come look. Huh? Look at what? It's just a waterfall. Down there. I see some children on a rock. Well, maybe they live here in the neighborhood. Maybe, but how did they get down there? That's a really good question. Let me go ask them. Just don't freak them out. Hey, who are you guys? And how did you make it down here to the bottom? <gasps> What's this? 
so. You're just visiting. Am I right? <sighs> According to Professor Gilmore's coordinates, I should be pretty close. <laughs> they sense an evil presence. Their enemy must be close by. Are we in danger? Dr. Gilmore! There's an emergency call from 008! A giant mass of energy? Yes, and he reports there are no children in the area. Tell him that I'm on my way to assist him. All right, you guys, tell us where you're from. I mean, at least tell us your names. <laughs> they talk even less than you. What's the matter? Doesn't your mouth work? Huh? Huh? You've got a leech on your face. That must have hurt. What's the matter? Why didn't you say anything? Hold on, everyone. Let me check out this bridge to see if it's strong enough to hold us before we try and cross. Uh. I told you to wait. You're lucky the water isn't any deeper or you would have drowned. What's that? Those are piranhas down there. I'm going in. Don't move, guys. If these beings are supposed to be so powerful, this makes no sense. None of this makes sense. What's your point? Why didn't they use their powers to kill the piranhas? Hmm. Maybe they were like a deer in headlights and froze up. Huh? Mm -hmm. We're very scared. Mm -hmm. Zero nine. Sorry, I got delayed getting here. Don't be sorry, you saved my life. Let's blast it! No, wait, I tried that. When you shoot it, the energy bounces back. It's that strong? Yes, it is. Zero, zero, 001, the mass is wrapped in some kind of space warping barrier. Your weapons can't penetrate it. Then how are we supposed to attack it? I have an idea. I'll create a hole in the barrier with my powers. Then, use your accelerator, go in, and blow it to pieces. All right. But it's gonna be hard to pull this off alone. The thing looks pretty powerful, and you're gonna need some extra firepower. How about asking Mel and the other children to help you? That thought did occur to me, but they can't do it. Why not? It doesn't matter if they're the attacking force or just assisting someone else. If they use their powers to kill, they risk destroying themselves. <sighs> All right, then. There's no choice. We'll have to do this by ourselves. If we fail, that mass will try to destroy us. 